Good morning, peeps. Me and Mew here, and welcome back to Dragalia Lost. Today, we're going to talk about things that have changed in the game and things that are coming to our game. I want to start this off by saying, if you think my voice sounds weird right now, it's because I'm sick. I, I don't really have a lot of voice right now. But I did want to make this video. I am actually sort of whispering, not really, because I don't know how to whisper. But we're going to try to make it through this video because I was really excited by all the things that I've been seeing on Twitter. And a lot of them are already in our notices, so let's get to it. And, you know, we do have a lot of notices. It is Monday. So basically where our notices start are with the update notification. There was an update to version 1.2.0 for the game, the old event um, is gone, the wind event is gone, and we're actually waiting for the new event, which we'll get to details about it in a little bit. So in order to celebrate the new event, we will get a tenfold summon ticket once the event starts, but we're not getting that 10 summon voucher yet. And oh my gosh, you might want to save on to it if you get it early. Just saying. And the new features that we got with 1.2.0 is the improved usability of for unbinding and upgrading weapons. The camera will no longer zoom in when you tap to complete a facility. During co-op play, you will no longer be disconnected if you receive low battery notifications during play, as long as the notification is dismissed quickly enough. That must be annoying if you've experienced that. Improved scrolling through sticker pages. Room print details will now display it from stage one. When a enemy's override activates, they will now display recover from afflictions to make it clear that their afflictions have ended. The features and changes below will be added to the game after 12 a.m. on November 30th. So these things are something that are coming in 12 and 1.2.0 in four days. Also, the issues like the you know from where I'm starting now. The other things have happened. So playing on a long time um, cause processing slowdowns on some devices. Uh, final attack stage of Blackwing's weapons, Black Fiends, was not defined. The ability to enter otherwise inaccessible areas in certain locations has been fixed. Skills that ignore damage under fixed percentage of max. There's a lot of things. I'm not gonna go through all of these. I I can't. My voice is not letting me. <laughs> I I try, but let's see if anything else looks interesting. It's just, you know, quality of life things being updated here and there, which is very, which is very good. And, you know, this was posted yesterday. And, you know, features and change below will be added after the 30th. So everything from this point below, I, I don't know if you can see where I'm tapping, are things that are happening on the 30th. And the things on, you know, on top here um, are starting from today. Well, technically last night. So, if you saw the update thing happening last night, that's when most things came live. But I was asleep. No lies. Um, so, Dragala Life number 35 is available. That's great. They're just so adorable. And events and promos. Double stamina recovery rate event. So right now, stamina is recovering at double the speed. That is great. Um, if you play a lot by yourself, this is great. Um, this is kind of usually the way route I go. Uh, just because I've been really busy and also with sickness, I've just I've just been out of it, honestly. But I my goal for today is to deplete all of my gather wings. So if you see me on multiplayer mode, drop a high. <laughs> um, and then you know I also I should mention this is this double stamina is going all the way to the 29. So this is right up to the event that starts. So until the 29th, we have double stamina. Also, uh, regarding some of the skills not working. They've confirmed that an issue regarding some skills not working properly after the version 1.2.0. Of course, there's always issues when you get an update, and it's actually been fixed already as of 2.50 in the morning, central time, on the time. So, yay. They're like on it. Another tech issue they have is they found that a previously fixed issue, which is in high midgard, Storm Chaser deals more hits than it should, is occurring again, and this issue of occurs after upgrading to 1.2.0 and they're currently investigating so they'll fix it as soon as they figure it out and we have a new event coming 
This event will start on the 30th of this year, of course. And during this event, you can use co-op to fight against the Shadow Raid boss. And here's a sneak peek of the adventurers and dragon featured in this event. Lucerta. She is so pretty. She is called the Songtress of Century. Her ethereal voice captures the hearts of all who hear it. Her voice has earned her renown across the continent, but rumors whisper that she has an equal talent for slaying fiends. She is so pretty. Like, I, I want her really bad. And hopefully she is a wand user because that, that is my absolute favorite. She is so pretty. And like, I love her color scheme, her hair, everything. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And my assumption is that she's a dark unit because we are assuming that the ray boss is of light affinity. So dark affinity is what you'd want. And then we have Elias. He is, or she, oh no, it is he. He is a new unit as well. He is a young boy from the Harmonia Choir. He boasts a heavenly voice and expects the best from both himself and others when it comes to singing. He likes sweet things a great deal, but fears this makes him a bit childish. And then the dragon, oh my gosh. So cute! Matimus, a dragon protects Harmonia Choir. He has long lived in the town where they are based, where he is beloved by all. He enjoys being fashionable and wears a bell the choir children gave him around his neck it with pride. Oh my gosh. He looks so fluffy. So fluffy. Oh my gosh. And my voice is like awful. And you do have to clear chapter 2, um, 1 1 to be able to do this event. I am very curious about um, Lucerta. She is probably going to be on the summon banner. I'm thinking Elias, he's going to be as a free unit in the game as we do for raid events. And it does say that it starts on the 30th of November, but it doesn't say when it's ending. But because things have been usually lasting almost two weeks in this game, I'm predicting it's going to end on the 7th of December. But I can also make see them doing it, you know, that, that'd be a week. If it's two weeks, it'd be for the 14th. So between the 7th and the 14th, I see this event going away. And that was the last notice. However, you can see um, the coming soon tab for the event. So, you know, do you like songs? If so, you must come see us. I am Elias of the Comornica Crier, and we'll sing many a song for you. We'll make it fast. I don't know how much longer my voice will last. Coming soon to Joelle Lost. Can please come hear our songs? Oh my gosh, is he losing his voice? Team up to take a powerful boss with up to 16 adventures at once. Oh, actually, I could be wrong. This boss looks dark. Yeah, the boss looks dark. Because of this, you know, color choice here. Could he be a dark type? I don't know, that'd be interesting. Because the event that we had for Halloween was a dark type boss uh, for the, you know, light type uh, facility. So that's very interesting. I mean, unless they're holding up us getting darkness. I don't know. I'm actually very conflicted with this. Because of this boss, it looks like it would be of a dark type affinity. But I don't know. This is very sus. Let me know in the comments below what do you think? What type of boss are we going to get? Do you agree that it makes sense for it to be a dark type boss? Or do you think they're going to throw us, you know, a curveball and make it a light? I mean, you know, what we assume it should have been a light type boss for the dark type units. I mean, Lucerta, you know, she looks really pretty. I think she is a wand user. What do you think she's going to be? Also, I know I'm rambling, but anyways, those are all the things that have been updated in the game, will be updated in the event that's starting on the 30th of November. Again, I apologize for my voice, it's just I'm a little sick, and hopefully I can get better so I can restart streaming, because my voice being like this, I, I can't really talk for long periods of time. 
But thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you for being amazing. I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Until next time. Meow to meow. Thank you.